the Pittsburgh Steelers, who were 11 and 0, and now they are 11 and 2. I after- told you they were the worst 11 and 0 team ever in NFL history. Well, first of all, there have been very few 11 and 0 teams. <laughs> all right, and and I thought of the undefeated ones. You know the. The Dolphins in 72, who, of course, finished it off with a championship. The Patriots in, uh, know, right, before yeah, they lost. Two, was that 07? Yeah. Um, and then they lost to the Giants. So, yeah, they were worse than those teams. Uh, in fact, here's what I'm going to say, Rob. Well, yeah, I'm going to say this first. Because I know, you know, you sticking out your chest. You walking with pep in your step. You done told Alex, Alex, get my get my patriotic music ready. I didn't tell Alex anything. Oh, yeah. No, get get ready, get get my bad boy music ready for my. As soon as I get on it, I'm a, I'm gonna go off on my spiel. I told Chris they were the worst eleven and O team ever. He, Rob. You sound like Stephen A. doing me now. What is that? <laughs> They're eleven and two. Here's what I got to say to all the odd couple listeners. This has been a tremendous season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. No one, and I mean no one, outside of that locker room, thought that the Steelers had a shot at winning the AFC. And even as they were running through the league, even as they were beating the first four teams with a winning record that they played, Tennessee, Cleveland, Baltimore, I still never thought they were a threat to get to the Super Bowl. I picked them to make the playoffs. Rob Parker didn't even pick that. I thought they might be 10-6, and six, maybe 11-5, and five, and guess what? That's what they're going to be, probably 12 and 4 or, or 13 and 3 at this point. This has been a great year. This is not a great team. They got a 38 year old quarterback who's about to be 39, who's banged up, who's seen his best days, who talks about retirement after every fifth game. They're not going anywhere. But if they give them their propers, Don't diss them. They're a mediocre crew that through sheer will and fortitude and execution and great coaching have gone out there and won 11 straight games. So I say hats off to the Pittsburgh Steelers. You ain't going nowhere. You, You might lose your first playoff game. But hats off to you, because when I look at your roster, I don't see 11-2. and two. But when I look at your standings, I do see 11-2. and two. Propers to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Do not let what Rob Parker is about to say ruin your season. You have done well, young men. Salute! Loser talk, loser talk, it's a wonder you can walk. Chris Broussard trying to soft soak and soft sell you. Do not buy Chris Broussard's spiel about celebrating a team that was 11-0 and now they're 11-2 because you know what? All the lucky breaks, all the lucky uh, things that happened in the schedule and the four turnovers against the Ravens and the piss poor effort against the Cowboys, it finally caught up. And Chris, for you to sit here and act like, oh, it's okay, they're 11 and no. No, it's not. You're right. It was all fraudulent from the beginning. They're not good. The Pittsburgh Steelers, you smell that? That's them. They stink. I don't care how many wins they have. And ben, Big Ben, he stinks to the high heaven. Somebody needs to, needs to pin on Airwick all over his jersey. He stinks. That's why they aren't going anywhere. That's why there's been no buzz about a team that was 11-0. Nobody even gave them uh, an inkling to say, wow, maybe they could. Here you are downgrading the Pittsburgh Steelers organization 
and fans that know nothing but winning, and now Chris is trying to pacify you that you should be excited that they were 11-0, and and it's okay, uh, it's all right that nobody thought you were any good or, or have any kind of expectation for you. And Big Ben, go ahead. You know what? If the Steelers were serious about winning, really serious about winning, this would be Big Ben's last year. You don't need to talk about retirement anymore. We'll handle that for you. Thank you. Here's your parting gift last next year's contract, and go get you a, a new quarterback. The Steelers are going nowhere with a broken down jalopy named Ben, uh, Big Ben. Right now, he's played so poorly, you'd be better off with Uncle Ben behind center. That's how bad it's been. <laughs> really? He got a laugh from that? Yes. I and thought you he was going to get Chris. that everything's not funny. Well, it's no. the first time he <laughs> used it. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I didn't use it for before. My guy. It's an original. That's right. <laughs> but, but Chris, of all people, try to tell people they should celebrate that they were 11-0 and and now they've lost their last two games and, and, and to celebrate that, to make you feel good about it. Like, man, yeah, you guys shouldn't have had any expectations and you should just take whatever's there. If my team was 11-0, and I would have nothing but Super Bowl aspirations. I would be saying to myself, wow, they always found a way to win. They were good. Look at what they look at the mojo they have. But that's not what Chris is telling you. He's telling you you should be excited about nothing, that those 11 wins mean nothing. Look, I get, like, I don't expect Mike Tomlin to give that speech. I don't expect Ben Roethlisberger to say that in the locker room to his teammates. Of course, they're in the moment. You shouldn't say they it They should either. be trying you to never win. never try to poo-poo 11 I get wins it. No, and act no. like it doesn't you, matter. I poo-pooed it. You poo-pooed it. No. You said it was the worst ever. No, but you're the one applauding it like, well, you had a nice season. Just no. be happy. See, I thought I, they would win eight games, so they got 11, so you're I'm good. Not, I'm not in the heat of the battle. I'm not on that team. I'm not trying to win a Super Bowl. Mike Tomlin should be ranting and raving uh, at his guys tonight or tomorrow in practice. He should be going off on them. Men, we got to get it together. We have been horrible the last several weeks. I get it because he's trying to win a Super Bowl. I agree with you in that regard, but I have the luxury of being away from the Steelers. I'm not attached. I'm not connected. So I can sit here and say, you know what? This isn't a very good team, but somehow, some way, they won 11 games and probably will win 12 or 13. I mean, did people rip Chuck Wepner when he lost to Muhammad Ali? No, because you know what? Chuck Wepner went above and beyond. Chuck Wepner gave us more than we bargained for, more than we expected, and they made a movie out of it. Are you really putting him up against the Steelers organization that's done nothing but uh, but win? Is that really the the Steelers organization? I get it. No, like I said, they should expect more. They, you're right. They, every year they lace them up. They think they can win a Super Bowl, they and don't I get it. But I'm not a part of the Steelers no, they, organization. They didn't I believe, never like, believed it didn't this team was going to have a good shot at beating Kansas City. I mean, come on. They're, they are Chris, the little think, engine some, that could. Sometimes I just I think that you're void of what sports is all about. Because <laughs> there are upsets. Things happen. I've seen it happen time and time again. Sure Nobody happen. thought the Giants were going to beat the 18-0 and Patriots who were blowing everybody away, right? Nobody thought that was going to happen. And what happened? They won. So to make it like no I'm one can beat the Kansas City can't lose. We just can't saw it in the freaking or, or, or NBA the, playoffs. Or the Steelers, can't, the Steelers couldn't beat them and put together a great game or, or Kansas City play lousy. Don't make it like that. You've already discounted it as if it doesn't matter. Anything they do doesn't matter because Kansas City's there. The I'm, bottom line is that the Steeler fans who are 11-0 and 0 aren't buying into what you're selling. I'm giving what I typically give on this show, foresight. I told you Pat Mahomes was jordan S. You were saying, that's too early. I'm not there yet. Let me see. Let me see. I got that foresight. 
So you're right. The Steelers fans shouldn't buy what I'm selling. They should be like, no, Chris, we can get it together. We beat Baltimore twice. We beat Tennessee. We beat Cleveland, who's 10, 9 and 3. We are a good team. We got Ben Roethlisberger. We got one last hurrah. We saw Eli Manning get it done twice. We saw Aaron Rodgers win it as a wild card. It's happened before. It can happen again. I get it. But I'm not attached. I'm telling you, if you want to save yourself some heartache, understand nah, what not. this team is. The Chris. Miami Heat. Nobody nah, looks what... at the Miami Heat last year as a failure. We look at them, wow. No, but what that, a that's great not, job that's not by the, that that's mediocre not the way squad. Fans look at it. Fans don't look at it like that. You they think the fans believe... in Miami are upset that they lost the finals? Yes, they shouldn't have even been there. They're disappointed. They got there. They figure if we got there, why can't we uh have yeah. a chance to win? That's but all. But overall, Rob, you know in Miami they are saying, wow. They're that not was celebrating that. Season. That doesn't and mean anything. And you've done it on, yourself. Man. That doesn't celebrate. What are you celebrating? They are it's saying that celebrate. was a great year. Even Pat Riley would admit that was a great year last year by the Miami Heat, even though they got trounced in the finals. It, it's all about perspective. It's all relative. This team isn't that good. Ben's not the same. We know this. I, I say the Steelers, eh, for what they are, heck, 11 and 2, <laughs> kudos. Rob says they're a bunch of frauds. What do you say? All right, let's kick it off with uh, Ty in Palm Springs. You're on the odd couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Ty? What's going on, guys? What up? Now, usually I'm with CB um, almost always. Tonight, I'm on Rob Parker's side. CB, your take sounds like it should be monogrammed on the back of a college student's window. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. We should be happy being 11-2. and two. No, these are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes. Year in, year out, we expect to be competing for championships. And this is not a championship-level squad as it's Yes, that's what I'm telling you. healthy. They will be a championship level squad, but as a fan, Chris, that's not what I want to hear. No, that's I'm not, not a I'm fan. Thinking. You're a Steelers fan. You're a Steelers I'm fan. A Saints fan. I'm a Saints fan. What? What he's saying I, as a look, fan? I you're not get trying, it. Chris. To I wasn't speaking to the, the fans. I'm to telling. To be eleven and two, nobody's trying to hear that. I, that they're eleven I, I and two, get but that, they, they, but I'm telling you, fans, your team ain't that good. 11 and 2 is above and beyond what they should be. That's all I'm saying. Tony in DC, you're on the odd couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Tony? Hey, I think this General is one of your Parker, Private Broussard. What's going on? What's up? I figured this was one of your underlings. My goodness. <laughs> Parker's What's in that cup house. you got in your hand, Tony? Because <laughs> it must be something uh, intoxicating. Why you got to have a drink? He just the can't go all with this drink, craziness. Man. Why you got to have a play. drink, Chris? I'm just gotta... coming home from Planet Fitness, brother. I'm just working exactly. out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tony, That's what I we do at Parker's for two. We work exactly. out. Yeah, we all right. Work out. Stay in shape. <laughs> hey, but look, I, I, Chris, I'm with you. The Steelers, Ooh. you know, their luck, their luck has ran out. I mean, they played above their, their expectations. But when you get into the playoffs, you're not going to be able to face my Dallas Cowboy defense that gives up 300 yards rushing a game. <laughs> and right. Pittsburgh cannot run the ball. You have a wide receiver that's more concerned about tick-tocking before games than the game <laughs> itself. And Big Ben just can't carry your team anymore. And, you know, their defense has held up as long as they could. But now you're playing the better teams in the playoffs, and the weather, the weather's changing. You're not going to be able to throw the ball like that. Hey. Now, look, time. I'm with you, Tony. Tony I'll, no for doubt, all that Tony. Parker's platoon garbage you nah. were spewing, you really a part of Broussard's brigade. No, he ain't. It. Never, never. Speaking ever, of which, ever. Rob, my never. Cleveland Browns, because you know I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland! They just marched down the field, 11 plays, 81 yards, and scored a touchdown against the Baltimore Ravens. Who said? Would anybody say they would get shut out? Shut out? You, yeah, you see it all the time. All That's I know is Lamar touchdown. and the crew better show up. They got one That's touchdown. All I know. That's fine. I'm just saying. That doesn't just mean anything. You know. They're going to score. Christian in you know. Vancouver. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Christian? Hey, guys. Happy holidays. Happy um, holidays, brother. 
So if I recall in the preseason picks, Rob had the Steelers missing the playoffs. Yes. They just clinched, and that's that's all that matters at this point. I mean, only one team gets the bye, and Kansas City is clearly the number one seed I'm and the glad. best team and in Christian, the AFC. You know what? Guys like you kill me. You didn't call last year when I said they were going to miss the playoffs. You only call <laughs> when it helps your narrative. Do you Do you remember that? You don't remember Rob, that. If he you? called every time you got something wrong, nah, I mean, my I'm talking goodness. about he, <laughs> guys. They be on three me. times a show. Rob, you didn't pick what you call Christian, last don't year. let him. Don't just let like, him. Just like I told, just like I schooled call. Chris Broussard, I Greg said Jennings, the Steelers would make the playoffs. All on national television. I that the, said that the, the Lakers Steelers would, would make, make the playoffs. playoffs. Remember that? Nobody I, remembers that. I said the Steelers would make the playoffs, Christian. He said it two years ago. They didn't make it. Well, half of it's making it, and they've put, they're they coming off a stretch playing three games in 11, 12 days, which is like Dude, anybody they're not has that good, tough. Christian. Stop making ex- – no, that's no, a good I, football team? Right. So he's saying what I'm saying. They're not no. that good. So how in the world you're they not, won 11 straight games? Props. Props. Yeah, they're no props. playing above expectations, and right. they have a chance to win a game or two in the playoffs, and that's all you want. You want to see – Ben coming off a surgery, see him some improvement, and then get some of these young guys some playoff experience so see, maybe they hey, can Christian, take something down next year. Christian, this is the reason why the NBA took the Grizzlies from you guys, because of this attitude, okay? <laughs> Christian, well done. All right? That's well, why you don't have an NBA team. Anymore. <laughs> Keep call, call anytime. Was that He's too so hard? rude. Yes, that was harsh. <laughs> Those sorry. people love the Grizzlies. Yeah, right. They didn't show I told up. you the story how they thought – I was covering the Grizzlies game against the Knicks. No, I'm sorry. This was way back. This was against the Cavs. And they thought I was Greg Anthony. Oh, God. Stop. After you don't the look game. Like Greg Anthony. I know. I know. I, I you know. couldn't be more opposite of Greg Anthony. <laughs> Mark in Sacramento. You're on the, the fans couple. in Vancouver. Fox thought I was Sports Greg Radio. Anthony. They thought you were Greg Anthony. I know. Hold on, gentlemen. What's, What's up, Mark? <laughs> hey, guys. I think the answer is lying somewhere in the wasn't middle wasn't of what both you guys are saying. Racist. And uh, I, I think that uh, a couple of things Mark, I've you, seen you're happen. trying to be too nice. You uh, no. you agree with me. Just tell Chris. No, 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 you no, can't no, be in the middle. Just you tell agree me. with me. Here. You go know, they're, they're not a very good team, and they somehow won 11 straight games. That's well, something let me to finish, be Chris. Okay. Let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Um, the one team that, that – and I'm not making an excuse because I'm a Raider fan, so I'm not a Steeler fan. Uh. But COVID did affect them because it, it, it did squeeze their bye out of there and into the only team that hasn't played a bye. And then they lost James Conner at the same time because he had the cancer issue, which they'd lost their running game. They can't run the ball. And then they lost Bud Dupree and, and Devin Bush off that great defense. So all three of those things kind of factor in. But they weren't as good as that record said they were, because I think they had one of the weaker uh, schedules in the NFL. Well, so and I believe, I think they, uh, didn't they have to buy in week four, I believe. But to your point, they've played like three games in 15 days. They're tired. They're oh, exhausted. God, please stop it. I mean, they are, right? See, I, you look at everything as black and white. I, I see the nuance. I see Racist. the nuance. We got we got Rob I'll Woodson. Just keep it real. Chris we got hot trying Rob to massage Woodson stuff and, coming and, up and make you feel good and all that. I'm sorry. I tell the truth, Sunday y'all. school's over. I'm telling yeah, the truth. I, I get it. Right now okay. it's painful because you thought you had something. A few months from now, when it's all said and done, you'll be like, you know what? They, they did a good no, job to win. I, 13 you want to talk about uh, about spotting That's something you'll be way saying. before? I spotted it when they were winning all those games, and I told you. They were the worst you were 11 late. No Nobody team. else. Everybody right. knew that. No, everybody didn't know that. You were parading who, around. Who in the world was you saying were that they like were going? Oh, how high did they get in Parker's power ranks? They probably got up to number one. No, I dropped them out. No, but they, they were up there at one point. All right.